Hi, Ali Pordelis here from cookie.com. This video is about the responsive slideshow widget. The responsive slideshow widget is not a slideshow widget per se. It is something much better than that. You can place a default slideshow from the widgets library panel and put this widget on the page as well. And when you preview the page, your default slideshow becomes responsive. So there is nothing really to learn about this widget. All you need to do is to place the slideshow on the page, design your slideshow, modify it and do whatever you used to do on your slideshows and put this widget next to the slideshow on the same page and when you preview the page your slideshow is completely responsive and not only the slideshow itself but the caption the images the next and the previews buttons as well along with the thumbnails so this is one of the samples that we have in the package we have two samples this sample has two slideshow placed on the page next to each other on the largest breakpoint and when i preview the page unlike what you usually see with the slideshows on Muse you can see both of them are acting responsively when I resize the browser. Not only the images in the slideshow, but the captions and the next and the previews buttons as well. So let's go to a new page, put a basic slideshow, put a responsive slideshow, and set the first largest breakpoint width to 960 pixels, which is what we have in a new project by default. There are some other options like next preview buttons, thumbnails, let's check the thumbnails as well, and the captions and vertically center next previews only for the full screen the slideshow. Now when I preview the page and resize the browser, you can see that all the aspects in the slideshow are responsive. Now let's place the buttons somewhere inside the slideshow and the caption and the counter. Now when I preview the page, this is something that so many users have been asking for and now it is working with the slideshows beautifully. We also added this new feature for the full screen slideshow. Which can be applied to the next and the previous buttons. And when I preview the page and resize the browser, they vertically center the browser. And as you can see, they are still responsive in width and in the height in terms of the placement. So this is pretty much everything about this widget. Again, there is nothing to learn about this widget and that's the beauty of this widget. You can just place it on the page, you have your slideshow and when you preview the page, you have a responsive slideshow. There is only one exception about this widget and that's a light box slideshow. It doesn't apply to the light box of a slideshow. If you really want a light box that is responsive, you can use the composition widget and the responsive composition widget that we have in cookie.com. And when you preview the page, then you can have a responsive light box as well. But this widget is really handy when you want to have a slideshow on the page, a full screen slideshow, have your caption responsive, have your next and previews buttons responsive as well. Thank you for watching this video and I'm really hoping that you can find this widget useful for the projects that you're working on.